Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the disorders associated with this HMP shunt. In this we will learn about G6PD deficiency and Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. So first we will discuss about G6PD deficiency. G6PD means glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. So, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. So, this glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme, this uh, normally it catalyzes the conversion of glucose 6-phosphate to 6-phosphogluconolactone. Glucose 6-phosphate to 6-phosphogluconolactone. This is the first step in the HMP shunt and it is the rate limiting step and th this is the rate limiting enzyme in the HMP shunt that is glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase that is the rate limiting enzyme. Here in this reaction one molecule of NADPH is produced. NADP plus here NADPH plus H plus. So one molecule of NADPH is produced in this reaction. So, if there is a deficiency of this enzyme means there will be deficiency of this NADPH. It is the most common genetic defect but here these are mostly asymptomatic. Mostly asymptomatic. This NADPH generated in this reaction is, is, it is required for the maintenance of RBC membrane integrity. This NADPH It is required for RBC membrane integrity. That is this NADPH is required for reduction of oxidized glutathione to reduce the glutathione. Reduction of oxidized glutathione. O oxidized glutathione is GSSG to reduce the glutathione that is GSH. So, here it needs NADPH, here NADPH plus H plus NADP plus. So, this NADPH is required for the reduction of oxidized glutathione to reduce the glutathione. Here the enzyme is glutathione reductase, glutathione reductase enzyme. This reduced glutathione in turn removes this hydrogen peroxide from the RB cells by the enzyme glutathione peroxidase that is GSH it removes hydrogen peroxide by the enzyme glutathione peroxidase. And it forms oxidized glutathione and two molecules of water. So, this reduced glutathione in turn removes this hydrogen peroxide from the RB cells by the enzyme glutathione peroxidase. This reaction is important because accumulation of this H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide may decrease the lifespan of RB cells. This is by increasing the rate of oxidation of hemoglobin to methemoglobin. Hemoglobin to methemoglobin. So, this reaction is important because accumulation of this hydrogen peroxide may decrease the lifespan of RB cells. This is by increasing the rate of oxidation of hemoglobin to methemoglobin. So, here in G6PD deficiency, there will be NADPH deficiency. In G6PD means glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency means NADPH is also deficient. So, there will not be maintenance of this RBC membrane integrity. So, there will be hemolysis. It will lead to hemolytic anemia. And this in turn lead to hemolytic jaundice. This in turn leads to hemolytic jaundice. 
this uh, NADPH it is also required for the antioxidant function. It is also for required for the antioxidant function. So here there is uh, there will be decrease the NADPH. So free radicals cause damage to RBC and there will be hemolysis. Free, free radicals cause damage to RBC and there will be hemolysis. So, when oxidant groups of drugs such as um, for example anti-malarials like uh, primarkin and aspirin that is called as oxidant group of drugs. For example, anti-malarials such as primarkin and this aspirin. When these oxidant groups of drugs are given for treatment, they increase the production of free radicals. They increase production of free radicals. So, this production of free radicals will cause damage to RBC. This leads to hemolytic anemia and in turn causes hemolytic jaundice. That is D6PD deficiency. Then here it is uh, first described with primarkin administration. It is first described with this primarkin administration. So it is called as primarkin sensitive hemolytic jaundice. Primarkin sensitive hemolytic jaundice or hemolytic, hemolytic anemia. It is known as primarkin sensitive hemolytic anemia. This oxidant drugs which cause uh, this hemolysis in D6PD deficiency include anti malarials such as primarkin, then uh, sulfonamide groups of drugs, sulfonamide group of drugs, then comes analgesics like acetyl salicylic acid. So, these all these all are oxidant drugs. This all causes hemolysis in D6PD deficiency. The defect shows some protection against plasmodium falciparum infection. Here the defect decreases the severity of malarial infection in young children and infants. So this defect shows some uh, protection against plasmodium falciparum. So here the defect decreases the severity of malarial infection in young children and in infants. Then uh, another disorder is favism. That means this uh, G6PD deficiency also occurs in persons sensitive to fava beans. Fava beans that is known as visia fava. This G6PD deficiency also occurs in persons sensitive to this fava beans. This is known as visia fava. This is due to ingestion of uncooked or lightly cooked beans. Ingestion of uncooked or lightly cooked beans or inhalation of pollens. Inhalation of pollens from the blossom of the plant. This is also one of the disorder that is flavism. This G6PD deficiency also occurs in persons sensitive to this fava beans. This is due to ingestion of uncooked or uh, this lightly cooked beans or inhalation of pollens from the blossom of the plant. So this is about hemolytic anemia due to G6PD deficiency. Next one is Wernicke Kosakoff syndrome. This is uh, another disorder of this HMP shun. Here it is Wernicke encephalopathy and Kosakoff psychosis. This is Wernicke encephalopathy and Kosakoff psychosis. Together it is known as Wernicke Kosakoff syndrome. Wernicke Kosakoff syndrome. It is a genetically variant form of transketolase. 
genetically variant form of this transketolase. This is seen in chronic alcoholics. In chronic alcoholics. In, uh, in the case of this alcoholics, there will be decreased absorption of this uh, thiamine. There will be decreased absorption of thiamine. Also, there will be decreased conversion of this thiamine to thiamine pyrophosphate, that is TPP. Decreased conversion of this thiamine to thiamine pyrophosphate. So, there will be functional deficiency of this thi thiamine pyrophosphate. This thiamine pyrophosphate, thiamine pyrophosphate, it is needed for the transketolase enzyme in the HMP shunt for the transketolation reaction. So, this affects the transketolation reaction. That is, there will be functional deficiency of this TPP. So, this affects this transketolation reaction in HMP shunt. The patient suffering from this disorder shows severe neuropsychiatric symptoms. Severe neuropsychiatric symptoms. It is characterized by deranged mental functions, depression, disorientation, then uh, loss of memory and uh, this mental confusions. There may be this eye uh, paralysis of this eye movements also. Paralysis of eye movements. That is Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. So these are the disorders associated with this HMP shunt. So this is today's topic. Thank you for watching.